Hi guys, I am Daniela. This is Art Around the World and it's our first art class. And today we're going to be making totems. Do you know what a totem is? You can look it up here. But what a totem is uh, maybe a wooden structure that looks like a tower, maybe, that has uh, animals on it. And in some cultures, like, for example, here, and North America and South America, some cultures believe that animals are messengers that come to you and they appear in your dreams, maybe, or that you keep seeing every day. And they're trying to tell you something. So today we're going to learn about these totems and we're going to be depicting them. We're going to be making them. You need to choose three animals. I have chosen a monkey. I hope this looks like a monkey. A cat and a shark. To make this uh, tower-like structure called totem. So we're going to be using... The first uh, material, paper rolls. You can choose a uh, long per paper roll or three small ones. Have one, wait, two and three. Make sure it doesn't fly away. You also need a pencil, some glue. So we're going to try to put it in the place where it's very easy to handle and it doesn't dry so fast some water brushes the water will be used to clean our brushes paper towel scissors A plate or maybe a cardboard or a piece of paper that you can use to pour the paint. And construction paper. You're going to need three colors. I've chosen orange, purple, red. You need black and white too. So it's going to be three different colors plus black and white. And we're good to go. I have here my friends who are going to be guiding me in this activity. You have a monkey, a cat, and a shark. Thank you to my children who lent me these toys. So we're going to start. The first step is to use the paper roll and trace on the white piece of paper or cardboard or construction paper. three circles, one per each paper roll. That's number one. Oy, sorry. Then you can use the same one. Two circles and three circles. Like this. Then you're gonna go ahead and cut them. free to uh, stop the video at any time or to pass forward it if this is going a little too slow and you're way faster than myself. <laughs> so these circles will be used to as a base for the paper roll so they can stick together. Okay, we got this done. Three circles. I'm going to keep them right there. Also, make sure that you have something covering your table or wherever you're working because it will stain, most definitely. Or uh, a cloth. And for yourself, you can use, you know, some yard clothes that you feel very comfortable with and an apron or a long t-shirt. Because you'll probably get a stain and I'm not sure that your parents will be so happy with the art stains all over and all your fancy nice clothes. 
So go ahead and put something on before you start and cover your space and your or your table and come back. After the first step, we're going to go ahead and pick our colors. So I have a monkey, a cat and a shark. And I have chosen to use pink for one roll. So in this paper that you use or cardboard, we're going to pour some paint. And we're going to start with our first roll. This one is done. Look. But while this one dries, I will go ahead and wash my brush. You want to keep your brush clean. Ooh, that looks nice. And the way I wash my brush, I tap it in the water. Make sure I don't like, you know, just go so hard in it because my brushes are my friends. So go ahead and then after you do that, dry it like this. That's why you need a little paper towel. Put it here. And then I'm going to use purple. So for the first one I made, I realized that it would look very nice with some um, some dots. So I'm going to use the back of my brush to make some cute little dots, make my uh, totem a little more fancy and decorated. And I'll go ahead and put some spots and dots and I hope the wind doesn't take everything away so go ahead and add some dots you can make lines what I try to tell everybody is that the colors look very nice as they are but if you feel like mixing them you can always mix them on your surface on your paper not not here because they probably get muddy so we're going to go ahead for the second one. <laughs> and our second roll is all done. Da -da -da -da! Purple. And the third one, let's see if you guys guess. I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush tapping it and then drying it on uh, my pa paper towel remember feel free to pause if I'm going too fast and you need more time to finish uh, coloring I'm not going anywhere I swear <gasps> look at this water I love the color your hands will get a little dirty and that's part of our making so just enjoy it and then you'll wash it then, da -da -da -da, can, can you guess the color? Blue. I love blue. Maybe the sharp will look nice with blue, right? So we are going to pour a little bit of blue. Not too much. Not too little. And leave it here. And go ahead. <laughs> See now, and <gasps> fantastic. Look, blue. Awesome. So, we're gonna go ahead and wash our brush. If we don't wash the brush, it'll probably dry, and then you'll have to throw it away or use it for another technique. <gasps> but look at this water. Isn't it so nice? The colors that we're making in the water is so cool as well. So now we have that and we're gonna go ahead. 
for the first paper roll that's still drying. Mm, we can wait a little bit because I see that it's still a little wet. So we're going to go ahead and choose these colors. For my pink paper roll, I'm going to use purple be used to decorate the upper part of the roll. So you can you can outline it with a pencil or you can just go ahead and cut it. I'm going to fold it in half so then I can have two pieces that look the same. One is going to go on the top of the paper roll and the other one is going to be um, at the bottom. So look, I'm going to go ahead and make six zigzags here. They will serve, serve to decorate. Look, now I have two and I'm going to cut this one in half. Very carefully, if you need some help with scissors, please ask an adult to help you. If you can handle the scissors, be very careful with them. So I have two pieces of um, purple construction paper. And I'm going to go ahead and use a smaller brush to add some glue to it. This one I see that is dry, so I'm going to go ahead, you know what, and we're going to put it here. Just on one side of the, of the construction paper, we're going to add the glue, making sure that this glue is, uh, the quantity of the glue is good enough so we can like look. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put on top of it. There you go. And move it around. Slowly but surely we're going to move it like this. So, oh, look, it closes. So that's the top one, or the bottom one, it's okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put the glue on the second piece. And where's the glue? You need enough glue to cover it all the stripe and we're gonna go ahead and glue it on top look this is our first one we're gonna repeat the same with the other two rolls so for the next roll while well, this one dries which is purple, we're going to use a complementary color. The complementary color will be orange. Look, orange and purple. It will look super cool. So we're going to fold the paper again and wait for the airplane to pass by. And we're going to go ahead. Maybe we make it a little wavy this time. <laughs> the next step will be to glue our little orange stripes. I'm going to go ahead, do -do 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 -do. awesome, and paste it, let's move this so you guys can see, on our purple one. I'm going to turn it, or you can hold it on your 
arms with your hands look very good the second one there's something else that is very important guys be patient <laughs> There you go. Look, this is how it looks. Now we go with the third one. So the other color that we have left for the construction paper is red. So now we're gonna fold it again. And what should we make here? Mm. Maybe we can make a... Oh, since this is a shark, maybe we're gonna make bigger triangles. <laughs> so we are gonna add glue. Not too much, not too little. Just make sure you cover all the stripe. There you go. Look. Move this around. You can always use your finger to gl to put the to apply the glue. But I know that like many of you guys just prefer to use brushes. Um, so you can use your finger or a brush. It'll probably be a little less messy with a brush but always remember to wash your brushes because glue will really really stiffen up your your brushes so go ahead be patient move around dance while you do it or not just be still the important thing is that you are enjoying yourself in the process. This is the third one. So now we have our three rolls that are painted and um, decorated. So now, how do we make a monkey? We're going to go ahead and use the same look. Maybe we need our monkey ears. And we're going to cut two circles for our monkey ears. These monkey ears are going to be rather big. Look. So you have two monkey ears. <laughs> okay. So we had our brush that was soaking. Now we're going to just dry it and keep using it to glue it. So we're going to fill it up with glue, one ear, mm, just pick a nice spot here and you can choose to leave it a little out like this, you see it's not completely covered or pasted onto the surface so we're just going to hold it there maybe for three seconds, one two, three, very good. And now we're gonna go ahead and glue the other ear. And we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. This is how it's going to look now. Look. Okay, that works. I just make sure they're like a little aligned. Okay. And now we need, what else? Eyes. Yes. We're going to go ahead and find our white paper and we're going to make like small circles. These small circles are going to be the eyes. Let's see. And this would look more like uh, drops, but they work. Look. So it's two tiny circles. Please, wind, don't fly. Don't make it fly. Some glue. And then we're going to one drop or circle and then the next one look okay looking good then we're gonna add smaller circle or you can use a pencil but I will use the black circles made with the black construction paper because this ones will be the eyes of a monkey you know the little thing you have inside your eye the pupil there you go so we're gonna I'm gonna cut a smaller square so it's easier to handle the paper if you can do it without cutting it and that works for you that's great too look you have two eyes and the wind is saying oh I'm gonna blow it away <laughs> but we won't let it right so now we gonna on here <gasps> good and we're gonna glue it again Tiny tiny eye, the eyeball, and whoops. There you go. Now, what do we need? We need a nose. Yes. So, we're gonna cut another smaller circle to make a nose. This one will be a little bit more like a drop, or a circle, or a triangle. But look. It's so tiny, tiny, tiny one. So we're gonna add glue and add to our monkey. And now we need a mouth. Look. And now we're gonna add the mouth. The mouth of a monkey, we can make it maybe orange or red and it's gonna be like an oval <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and sketch an oval like this can you see it can you see it here okay oval we're gonna go ahead and cut it <laughs> look it looks like a dinosaur egg a red dinosaur egg and we're gonna glue it right under our monkey's pieces There you go. You have the mouth of a monkey. And now we're gonna add a teeny tiny smile to that monkey. So we're just gonna cut a small line. Or a big line if you wanted the, the monkey to have a very big smile. We're gonna add glue again. 
and add to our monkey's face. What do you think about this? Does it look like a cool monkey? Very cool. So we have our monkey now. Then we're gonna have, we're gonna start our cat. Monkey's done. Now kitty cat. Now our cat is gonna be pink and we're gonna use maybe purple to make the ears. This cat is gonna have big ears. So we're gonna make on the table it's easier. Two triangles like this. Can you see it? There you go. Two triangles that will serve as our cat ears. And I folded the paper so now we have two ears just like mine, but the mine are cheetah ears. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put the glue on it and find a cool spot. And this one you can just go ahead and like glue it completely. There you go. We have one ear. We're gonna add an other ear, so we're gonna glue it. Okay, apply the glue and go ahead and put whoops one right next to the other one. And remember to hold it so it doesn't just one, two, three seconds. Good, like this. So you have two ears. Now we need the eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and look for our white paper. A seed-like shapes. <laughs> and look. Now we have our cat's eyes. We're gonna go ahead and glue our first cat eye and add to our kitty cat. This is I'm putting them on an angle. Look. There you go. And we're gonna hold one, two, three, four, five. And there you go. Look. And then the next eye. Doo -doo -doo -pa. And again, make sure you put the glue on the side where you have the traces of the pencil. So then you cover them. We're going to go ahead and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Boy, this cat is a little. a little special. It's very special. Look. Now we're gonna add the eyeballs. <laughs> Figure. We add some glue. We add the glue to our cat's eyes. Look. Very cool. This cat is like sassy. Mm, there you go. Meow. What do we need? A nose. Yes. So we add a nose. Look at this cat. Meow. 
good. <laughs> Tiny smile on our cat. And then after the smile, we're just going to add, which is like a watermelon shape, maybe, like this. Watermelon or like a, I don't know, look, like a mouth. And we add the glue, wait, get our brush, and we put it, we're going to put it a little bit under the nose, but because we're going to add a line here. <laughs> Look, it's a teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny line that will go from the nose to the mouth. Just gonna cut the excess of the tiny. Good. And now we're gonna add the whiskers. How many whiskers should we have? One, two, let's do three and three. I'm gonna cut a smaller piece of paper. We're gonna fold this, the piece of paper that we have. Look. So now you have two pieces pieces and you're gonna fold it and this will help us make the whiskers a little faster mm, so now we have whoops whiskers So we're going to have two whiskers on each side. That works. We add the glue to our whiskers. Press one. Whee. We have one whisker. You can choose to put it completely here, like this. Or do as you did with the ears of the monkey, that you leave, leave them a little coming out. Now we have our cat. And here we go with our baby shark. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're gonna make a shark. Look, we have this sample. A little sample of a shark. And we're gonna start with, let's see. We're gonna make the eyes. You cut a little white to make the eyes. <laughs> and we got a number two eye oh, and some glue came out perfect there you go look it doesn't look like a shark now but it will I promise so, okay, so we're going to raise our cat. Now we go for our shark. We need the teeth and the eyes. We finish the eyes first. So we need two little eyeballs. One, two, three, there you go. Look. Then let's see what else. Our shark has 
two little nostrils just like us so we're gonna put two little nostrils these ones will have to be very tiny <laughs> Look at them. They're so small. Now the funnest part. We're gonna make the teeth. So for the teeth, how we're gonna do it? Let's see. This one doesn't have teeth. It just have a mouth. Oh. But we will make teeth. I like teeth. Do you like teeth? Yeah. <laughs> And now I'm gonna cut these small pieces easier to work with, like this. We're gonna go ahead and cut my teeth. And they're ready. Look. <laughs> so now remember I folded the paper so we have two mandibles Look. one goes up and one goes down here we go we're gonna add the glue to one of them and just add our teeth can use this one for the top one Wait, this one is a little holy moly guacamole this shark is uh ready to eat he's like oh give me some food there you go and This is a rather scary shark. So now we need to add the fins. It has two side fins and one upper one. So we're gonna do the two. Let's use white, don't you think so? And these are gonna be two triangles that will be the side fins. Can you see it? I'm just trying to reuse the paper so we don't waste so much paper because you can reuse this paper for another project so remember we're gonna glue where you have the outline and we're gonna cut and glue it and this one I think it will look very nice if we leave it just as we did with the flappy monkey ears Just like this. So we have one, two, three seconds. And then we're gonna add the next one. We glue and then we paste here. One, two, three. There you go. And now we need a fin for the head which is a very important fin to have maybe like this maybe the fin will go here what do you guys think? does this look like a shark? maybe we need a smaller fin this was... I got too excited about our fin Let's see how this one looks like. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we count one, two, three. Oh, we got a shark. 
Does it look like a shark? I think so. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Now, guys, we're about to finish. Remember the first circles we cut at the beginning of the class? They will be used right now to add a base. So the bottom one will be the shark. We're going to put it as if it was a hat. So we're going to find the glue and glue our circle, all of it. And we're going to glue it in bo uh, we're going to glue both sides. So this is one side. And then we're going to glue the next one. We can hold it like this so we don't get like so full of glue. We're going to add generously the glue. And you see, we're going to just put it on top like a lid. In most cases, they will fit. In some cases, it would not fit. But it doesn't matter. Like in this case, look. So we're just going to put like that and uh, add the second one, which will be our cat on top. And we're just going to hold it. Like hold it one. Make sure that this one's align the faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Applying a little bit of pressure. And let's see. Yep. Don't take it away because it'll probably just, you know, break. But now I'm just going to leave it like that and add the second circle so we glue both sides one side two sides and go one there you go and then we're gonna put it on top Make sure it stays and then add our monkey on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it should be ready. There you go. So now is not glued completely, so we're gonna go ahead and add 10 more seconds. Go ahead and add 10 more seconds. Maybe add a little more glue on this one, it looks like it needs. Very good. So now we hold it. Holding it like this, so it aligns this part and adding some pressure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel free to ask for help to an adult or like your mom or your dad or your sister, your brother, your uncle, your aunt. I'm sure they'll be very happy to help you. And look, now we have our totem. Start thinking, what do monkeys do? Are they very active and very happy, mischievous too? Cats, they're a little more sassy and more, I don't know, like suspicious and fun. And sharks, everybody's afraid of sharks, but guess what? Sharks are as scared of you as you are of them. So sharks are maybe a totem for strength right and for protection because they're trying to protect themselves and they don't want to be hurt so they're just like go away unless they're hungry in that case you just don't want to be around this was art around the world guys it was so nice to see you and i really hope that you enjoy making this project and i look forward to not fly with the wind and to see you soon bye Make sure you clean after yourself so your parents let you do it again.
Bye, bye.